Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK, out foraging again on the 10th of October and we're, ha we're having quite a successful day today. Um, we've already done a video on a blushing wood mushroom and we found some other things that are in the basket and we've just come across this, which is a lovely mushroom to find and to forage for. And it's a really healthy mushroom too. This is Hen of the Woods, the very famous Hen of the Woods. Grifola frondosa is its scientific name and uh, it gets sold around the world as maitake mushroom. Now maitake mushroom is known to be really really tasty when young, you don't want it when it's really really old uh, and it's also known to be very healthy. It's a mushroom that um, the medicine industry has been investigating because of uh, potential uses for this mushroom in our fight against certain types of cancers. It's also uh, hypoglycemic, which means uh, it will lower your blood sugar levels. So maybe if you've got diabetes, you should know about that before you eat this mushroom. Um, but how to ID it? First of all, this is a younger specimen, just from the other side of the tree. And you can see it comes out, and particularly around here, looking like a beautiful bit of coral. I don't know if any of you guys have been diving, but it looks very much like a bit of coral to me. And then what happens is these areas here open up, and I don't know how close you can get there, Eric, but they open up into these beautiful fronds, which I suppose if I cut one off for you here, I'll show you. It's a, I suppose a, a little bit like a, a turkey's tail, but there is another mushroom called a turkey tail. This isn't it. But when open, this is what they look like. Very, very pretty. It's a polypore. You can see no gills. Just a velvety sort of sponge underneath the cap of the mushroom. It does grow with a few different trees. It's growing with an oak here. Uh, I know it to grow with sweet chestnut. And apparently, I've just been told by my colleague Kerry Woodfield that it grows with different trees all over the United States as well. So uh, the key thing is, this is what it looks like. There's very little else that looks like this. And there's nothing poisonous that looks like this, but there are a couple of mushrooms that I want you to know about that, that are similar, and we don't want you picking because they're rare. First of all, there's a mushroom that won't be growing by the, uh, the base of a tree, like this one is here. It will be growing more away from a tree in grassland or scrub, and it's called the, the Podocypher multisonata, and it looks like a small version of this. Now, that's considered a rare mushroom. And so is this one's brother, the Griffola umbellata, I think it is, or something similar to that. Um, it's a, a mushroom that's very, very similar, but even when mature, these fronds don't open up quite as much, and they're much more delicate, much more sort of wavy around the edges, and uh, just generally smaller and its overall appearance. So don't go picking those. If you're not sure, just leave them behind because like I say, those ones are both rare. This one though, isn't considered rare. It's considered a delicacy. So I'm gonna take this home and we're gonna have a nice meal. We're gonna leave half of this behind to keep growing and doing its thing. But we've got plenty to feed the four of us in our foraging party today, just with this little bit and a little bit of that. Anyway. Hen of the Woods, Grifola frondosa. If you want to find out more, go to www.wildfooduk.com.